and welcome back to Heart and Soul Homes. In today's video, I'm continuing on my fall deep cleaning and today I'm going into my closet and I'm going into my master bathroom to just get into the cabinets, clean out the organization, or I've already kind of purged a lot lately in here, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through all my clothes, clean all my shelves, clean all my, uh, go in and reorganize my drawers, all that kind of fun stuff, so stay tuned. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. So this is going to take a look at my closet after I have cleaned everything out, reorganized, kind of did a rainbow home edit <laughs> style um, organizing. But this is my closet. This is my hanging jewelry. I just use command strips just to go ahead and to go ahead and hang all my long uh, jewelry. I don't use this very much, but. You know, I saved some pieces. I went through, but saved some. But just very easily, it's on command strips. I can see it. And it's all organized by, you know, kind of by type. Then, as we come over here, this is my built-ins. Okay, so I just have more decor up, up front, or up at the top, but, and some pictures. But I went ahead, went through all of my sweatshirts, and this is what I left myself with. It's just these two rows. And so I just color coded them, rainbowed effect, 
home edit. <laughs> and then instead of having open kind of containers just to hold miscellaneous stuff, I got these great um, boxes at um, the container store. So it's all closed up, it's labeled, I know what's in it, but it's, it's pretty and it's left alone. So the first two drawers, um, I rearranged and stuff, but it, they're intimates. So this is my, my t-shirt drawer. So while I did all this, while I went through my whole entire closet, um, I'll be taking stuff up to our cabin to leave. Um, I did a, I'll show you a huge bag from Thread Up and then a bag for um, Goodwill. So I have color coded rainbow style. All of my, these are t-shirts and then these are t-shirts but they're long sleeve t-shirts. So everything is, you know, organized, it's divided, and it's easily much better so I can see. Okay, and as we move over to this bay, this is, I've got some pictures, I've got some luggage. Um, this is all my long dresses. Uh, the, and I don't separate them in terms of fancy or not. These are just longer, these are just dresses. So I color coded, as you can see went through everything, made sure, oy, made sure I had all the same hangers, uh, you know, put all the designed prints in the back. So everything is accessible, and if I, I know what I'm looking the color wise, I've got it, and it's just much easier. Over here, this is just some jumpers and, and some miscellaneous kind of uh, long cardigans, that kind of thing, so there's not very much over there. This is a cute little hat rack I got on uh, Amazon and holds all my different hats. Up there is another luggage bin. When I did this closet, I wanted to make sure I had a lot of room for luggage. So you'll see um, storage up top. Here's all my shoes. I took every single shoe. I didn't bore you with <laughs> showing you going me going through all my closet and and, and cleaning all my shoe racks. I showed you a little bit, but um, here is all my shoes. I cleaned all the racks, put them back in color code and type. And the only thing new down here is I got boot um, organizers so that they kind of stand up better and they'll last longer. So I did those for boots down there. Right here in the middle is all of my handbags and these are glass shelves, so I took everything down, stuffed the purses so that they were, you know, uh, better looking, uh, you know, set up straight, and it just helps the bag in itself. Um, so, but all these glass shelves, I took everything down, cleaned the shelves, and um, I just cleaned the bottom here, but this has been organized. These are all this, like a little bin of all my, like clutches and that type of thing. Um, a couple of larger kind of awkward purses um, you know hide the messy right the not so pretty hide that so I've got my bags this bank of drawers is all of my pajamas so I've got them color-coded and uh, this is more summery this one is uh, pajamas but not maybe wintry okay and then these are winter pajamas. Even though I went through them, there's still a lot. I have a pajama problem. So here's another bank of the shoes. Again, I took everything down, um, decluttered a little bit, moved them a little closer together, uh, color-coded, and that type of thing. So those are done. So up here again, as you'll see all the way across, I've got luggage and extra storage all the way on the top, which is really helpful. So this is all my long sleeve shirts, winter or summery spring. Color coded them again. And um, they're just all, this is just all long sleeve shirts, sweaters. Down here are pants, hanging pants. This is all workout stuff down here and then this is all of my uh, short sleeve blouses t-shirts anything I don't mix them by I used to mix them by work or, or casual but they're all in together now so it's just nice I decluttered a whole bunch from there 
Then this is all sweaters, jackets, denim jackets, that kind of stuff. Cardigans, shorter cardigans are all right here. And then in here is just some tank tops and some different, you know, kind of just miscellaneous stuff. And then socks, I went ahead and did long, you know, like warm socks and then my short little socks. This is all shorts. Got rid of a lot and decluttered and organized them by color and type. And then these are just sweatpants and leggings. So that, other than I'm still washing my rug, so I still have some cleaning to do in here, which I'll show you at the end. But uh, these are clothes that I and bags that I'm selling. So that's what that is. So yeah, it feels nice to know. I do this, I do my closet at least once uh, a year, but I try to do it even twice a year. It gets dusty. I want to go through. I'm just becoming more minimalist. I don't need all this stuff. So I've sold a lot and I have gotten rid of a lot. And it's just nice, you know? You just choose what you want and go get it. And you don't have a thousand things to go through. So today was working on the closet. Tomorrow's going to be in the bathroom. Okay. So the the closet master closet is complete floors have been done the rug was cleaned i probably do that about three times a year unless there's some kind of mess or something that needs to be done but yeah this is just something some stuff i'm selling but it sure feels nice nice and clean all right now we're on to the bathroom cabinets and cleaning all under there okay so this is what i've got going on in my under cabinets this one is probably the one i've got to work on the most so i'm going to do this first the other ones it's just kind of my everyday now i have an organizing system for my makeup all i got to do is just pull these containers out wipe underneath make sure i get any makeup that's on there you know, this is kind of my everyday drawer. Uh, again, it's got all, all the acrylic system in here, so I just pull it out and clean underneath. Um, same here, this is all of my hair care and lotions. Um, so it, it's, you know, Nick, if you have a system like this, it's really simple to just go ahead and pull it out, clean the clean the drawer, make sure there's no gunk, and then, you know, you're you're good. So this is under my sink, and it's pretty good. Um, I just have a couple of things that I, you know, kind of want to clean up a little bit. And uh, so let's get going. This isn't even the hard part. Okay, so this is what came out of this first cabinet. I do still want to keep these because I every once in a while do use those. This is my steamer. This is extra, um, you know, like facial products that I want to keep. Here are just some tools that I want, some extra hair um, items I want. And then I try to always keep a cleaning kit under the, each of the sinks in the bathroom. Um, over here, this is stuff that is actually broken or bad. This is gonna go up in my current rotation um, of skincare products. So now what I'll do is just go ahead and clean this all out and put it in, uh, you know, nice and, and neat. Okay, so that is looking much better and so much more tidy. It's exactly what I need. I don't have anything extra. I have my sweet little 
Look at this sweet little picture my little girl made me back when she was just a little girl. With the blonde hair. If this is how she saw me when she was a little girl, I am just more than blessed. <laughs> so I always have it in my inside in my bathroom when I'm getting ready. But this looks awesome. So I'm just going to continue down the row of things and wash the outside of the cabinet drawers and let's get going. So you can see that this is my hair drawer. So you can see, I mean, you know, your hair gets in there so it just needs to all come out. These are all my tools. And then this is my little basket of, you know, brushes and special little tools. It just comes out and it's easy to clean and then put right back okay, in. Okay, so this one's put back together. It's got everything I need right there at my hands when I'm getting ready. And you know, it's not perfect, but it's, it's organized, it's cleaned out, and it's ready to be used. Here's the bottom drawer. I love these bags. I got them at Costco. There was a huge, um, a huge uh, pack of them. And they're just great to keep, you know, small things that you need uh, just organized. You know, like I have like, you know, my nail tips and stuff like that, and then nail supplies. It just keeps it all nice and organized. You know, extra hair, just what everybody has. <laughs> got my checkoff list this is all from last week my closet and bedroom you can kind of see and I cleaned under the bathroom sinks decluttered under the sinks and I did all the garbage cans and did all the disinfectant now I did this uh, last week and it was part of that um, organizing tour all of my, um, I haven't done the entertainment stuff, but I will do that next week. And the hall closet. I thought this was all the one thing. Anyhow, this is a great checkoff list that, you know, really just kind of keeps you on track. You can, you know, add in whatever you need that's specific for your house. 
and this is on my website it's a free printable all you have to do is sign up with your email and you'll get every week you get an update once a month I do a uh, full blog post uh, on many different subjects um, it's just kind of a fun place to just you know a, a safe place to discuss a lot of different types of um, a lot of different types of, of things. So uh, this is on the website right now and the link for the website is down below. And this right here is all items that I'm getting rid of. Now my daughter-in-law had suggested or said she would want these so I'm gonna hold those out for her. This is just different hair stuff. I'm gonna see if she wants it or uh, we'll just donate that. I've got a huge bag of stuff from uh, my closet that's gonna go to thread up. This is, you just order this bag, you fill it, and then you send it off and they sell it and you can either use it to purchase items or uh, get the cash back. So that's going, this is going to Goodwill. So you know this is great and then this is scary but this is my stock of stuff that's going to be going up to our cabin things I've ordered you know new rugs some new bedding uh, you know stuff from Costco different different things that I'm taking up but this is uh, a lot of the stuff this whole suitcase got filled from my closet this is all stuff that I'm going to be taking up to the cabin uh, so the closet really did get decluttered quite a bit so I feel really good about that Okay, that's it guys, and I so hope I gave you some motivation. I gave you some tips and maybe some tricks to go in and, and just organize and maybe just gave you that extra boost to go in. <laughs> it's not fun and it's not glamorous and it's it's hard work, you know, doing these deep cleanings and organizing and stuff. But if you keep it up once a year, twice a year, gosh, it's so much easier. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it because that is my goal. And I hope you have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.